Welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a real-life cyber thriller that has shaken the cyber security world. Imagine a friendly volunteer working on a popular software project, only to find out later that this person was secretly planting a backdoor to allow hackers to take control of your computer. Sounds like a movie plot, right? Well, this is the story of Jiatan, the mastermind behind the major cyber attack. Let's break down what happened, how it was discovered, and what it means for all of us. Jia Tan seemed like a helpful and enthusiastic contributor to the open source software community. Open source software is code that anyone can use, modify and contribute to like the popular compression tool called XZUtils. This tool is used in many Linux operating systems to compress and decompress files. Jia Tan started contributing to this project in November 2021. He appeared with the username Jia T75 on GitHub, a platform where developers share and collaborate on code. Over time, Jiatan made many contributions to various open source projects, building a reputation as a reliable and skilled developer. By January 2023, Jiatan code was being integrated into XZ Utils, and over the next year, he gradually took control of the project from its original maintainer, Lassie Colin. In February 2024, Jiatan added a sneaky backdoor into XZ Utils. A backdoor is a hidden way into a computer system that allows someone to bypass normal security checks and take control. This backdoor was cleverly designed to look like part of the compression tool, making it very hard to spot. It allowed anyone with a special key to connect to the system and run commands as if they were the administrator. The backdoor was discovered poorly by chance. Andrew Frond, a Microsoft engineer, noticed a strange delay in how a remote connection tool called SSH was working in a version of the Linux operating system Debian. His curiosity led him to investigate further and he uncovered the backdoor planted by Jiatan. What made this attack particularly alarming was its sophistication. The backdoor was not actively reaching out to a hacker server which could have made it easier to detect. Instead, it waited quietly for someone with a specific private key to connect. This passive approach is much harder to catch. Moreover, Jiatan showed remarkable operational security. They used a VPN to mask the real location, making it appear as though they were operating from a Singaporean IP address. No personal information about Jiatan could be found online, and their GitHub account was suspended after the discovery of the backdoor. The complexity and patience required for this attack suggests that Jiatan was not working alone. Many experts believe that Jiatan was a front for a state-sponsored hacker group, possibly from countries known for their cyber capabilities like China, Russia or North Korea. Cybersecurity experts like Kostin Rayu, formerly of Kaspersky, and Dave Vitel, a former NSA hacker, believes that the meticulous nature of the attack points to Russia's APT-29, a well-known and highly skilled hacking group. This group is believed to work for Russia's foreign intelligence agency, the CVR, and it's infamous for their involvement in major cyber attacks like the SolarWinds hack. This incident highlights a significant vulnerability in open source projects. These projects rely on community trust and contributions from volunteers. While this openness is one of their strengths, it also makes them an attractive target for malicious actors who can slowly build trust before launching an attack. The discovery of Jiatan's backdoor was a close call. If it had gone unnoticed, millions of systems worldwide could have been compromised. This event serves as a wake-up call for the tech community and users alike. It emphasizes the need for better security practices, thorough code reviews and more robust vetting process for contributors. The story of Jiatan is a reminder of how complex and cunning cyber threats have become. It's a tale of patience, deception and high-stakes cyber espionage. As technology continues to evolve, so too the methods of those who seek to exploit it. We must stay vigilant, keep learning and improve our defenses to protect our digital world.